Good day. This video is intended just to give you a short overview of what a learner management system is and then we will take a look in a little bit of detail what Moodle as a learner management system can offer you as a teacher or as a school or an institution and then right at the end we'll just take a look at the pricing structures of the facility that we provide from internet learning. When you look at Moodle's own website you'll see there that they say that this is the best learner management system in the world. Now obviously you'll say that is what they'll say because it is their own website. So let's just take a look at some objective criteria. Some people have done comparisons and compiled lists of various NMSs and then you can make up your own mind whether you want to go the Moodle route or not. What should you look out for when deciding to go for a learner management system or an LMS in your school or institution? And what we've got here is a list of typical LMSs that you can pick from. You could just go through there and you can see that we've got various learner management systems listed there and you'll find that Moodle is amongst them. On this website, as you can see, we've got the 20 best learner management systems. And if you go down the list, you'll find that there are a lot of things that will give you information about learner management systems. And then they are listed. Now you might take a look at that list and say, but where's Moodle? Why isn't Moodle there? Going down, going down, going down. However, if you go right down to the bottom, you'll see that the top open source learner management systems that are available, Moodle is listed first, which means it's a system that is available for free. You can technically go and download it yourself and install it yourself. It's quite possible. It's free. It's there for you to use. What we do from internet learning side is we have already done that. We've installed it. We've gone through all the processes of customizing it, making sure that it's just a question of going for it. You don't even have to plug and play. It's already loaded. You just run with it in your school or in your institution. What I've got here is a website that specifically lists the comparison between Google Classrooms and Moodle in terms of similarities and differences and advantages and disadvantages and so forth. And if you go through that, you'll find, if you read through everything, you'll find that essentially the difference between these two is that if you want a proper structure where you've got lots of teachers and subjects and weeks and periods and things like that. You've got to cater for all these things in one structure, nice structure. Moodle is the best way to go. If you just want to collaborate with your learners, if you've got like one teacher and a group of students, Google Classroom is sufficient. There's no problem with that. But Moodle is much, much, much bigger and advanced in terms of its architecture to handle structure in a big organization or if you've got various terms and various topics that you need to work on or if you've got various teachers working on the same course then you've got a better solution in Moodle and that is what the internet is telling us about Moodle. This is a typical page that we will set up for you in Moodle. Now this is just one page of many that we can set up and we've got indexing services etc but just to give you an idea of a starting point for your content management you can have your school or your branding logo there. You can have a notice board where you can put just about anything, tables, lesson plans, activity plans, timetables, whatever. You can put that into the notice board right at the top if you want. You can have those same notice boards right through the bottom or through the courses. And then you can have what we call topics. Now the topics can be just about anything, grades, subjects, teachers, terms, weeks, whatever you want from it. And you'll see the typical diagram of what can happen with the various divisions if you like you can have the grades for instance then you can have subjects inside each grade then you can have inside each subject you can have terms you can have topics you can have online resources you can have journals etc etc and what happens is we create different topics so on the right hand side of that diagram you'll have a subtopic which will be a page like this and inside that page you'll have for instance your terms and then inside the term you'll have your weeks or you'll have your fractions and your algebra and your geometry and things like that you have all these topics inside on the right hand side inside each of those pages that will follow flowing towards the right in that diagram now these topics can actually collapse so if you look at that for instance that's how clean it looks when the user enters this page and then when they want to see something specifically they will just click there and then whatever is there will open up for them and then you can add even more topics but inside a topic you can add 
various activities or resources and this is where Moodle really comes into its own just looking at a few of those you can for instance have a forum you can have a glossary of terms that are important you can put interactive video content in there you can put books quizzes online tests online assessments you can put in there a wiki etc zoom meetings you can run straight from a moodle page you can create a moodle book if you want for specific text that you may have authored you can have the label there which is the notice board and you can even put in urls so if you have external uh, resources such as for instance if you look at the history there we've got history online resources you may want to actually link youtube videos into your lesson plans where you've got documentaries of the history channel or discovery channel or something like that you can actually pull in those right in a collapsible topic so it's a very very nice structure to a lot of subjects a lot of content a lot of teachers that you can put into one page and it's all managed with data with reports etc you know exactly which students have done what and when they've done it how many times they've done it re results if there are quizzes or assessments attached to some of the activities completion status you can have progression in terms of do this first then the next thing then the next thing very easily you can put in dates for appearance and finalization and there are just too many things to mention that Moodle can bring to you all in one simple structure to begin with like this one so let's just take a look at the cost structures how much will it cost you as a school or as a teacher or a tutor to get onto the internet learning Moodle the first scenario that we will take a look at would be if you are a school so in other words you are representing an institution with lots of teachers lots of learners lots of structure requirements the cost then to set you up will be 7500 rand once off that is to actually build the pages according to your structures getting you going teacher training via videos and teacher support if they have a specific request that we can assist them then if you want to carry on with our Moodle after the lockdown period we charge 10 rands per month per registered learner on the system so however many learners you've got on the system will obviously then determine the cost going forwards from there after the lockdown then the other scenario would be if you are a single teacher or a tutor and you've just got your group of students that you want to assist using our Moodle the cost then would be free if we need to set you up with a course page and we need to support you with getting going with files links and labels and we'll also provide video training for that the other activities and resources we leave for later you can obviously play around with them but they are a little bit more complex so we're going to leave that out for now as far as setting you up is concerned and then again also if you want to carry on after the lockdown period we will then charge 70 rands per registered learner that you've got on your pages for the remainder of the year up until the end of the november exams